Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. What's the word? Let the people know we got on 16 Shot on Visuals. Yo, it's Billy Cow on 16. <laughs> so, first thing I want to ask you though is like about your name. Like, what, uh, where you get the name Billy from? It's not like necessarily my government name, but it's a nickname. It's just always what I've been called since I was, really uh, since I can remember. So where are you from? Are you originally from Chicago? No, I grew up in the west suburbs, like a little bit outside of Chicago. So like, how was your upbringing out there? What type of things were you into before the uh, camera, music videos and stuff? I was really into skateboarding mostly, like all through my childhood, skateboarding, stuff like that. and. Was there anybody that uh, like inspired you on the skating side type shit? I mean, I always liked like Andrew Reynolds and stuff like that. You people might know him from like the old Tony Hawk's games, but like I would always watch like his skateboarding videos and stuff like that. Or like even there was this one guy. He was from like the same county, similar area and stuff, and he got pretty famous for like making skateboarding videos and they went like viral on YouTube. He's pretty well known and like traveled the world from it and stuff. So I guess it, you would say like I was kind of inspired by stuff like that. So the, uh, the skating and shit, like is that kind of what led you into the music videos? Yeah, cause at first really it was like, I started making skateboarding videos with like just some of my childhood friends and stuff. Like when we were at the skate park and started to put that together and then like as time went on, um, one of my friends from school, his brother asked me to make a music video for him. And it was like, I made one, and then like they asked me to make more. And then from there it kind of circulated and grew into like, a, I guess what it is now. Like, and I was, it was kind of unexpected. I didn't really um, ever really plan on shooting music videos mainly, but it just kind of ended up what I, ended up shooting more than anything else. So like your first few videos, uh, if you was to look at them now, would you still like, like them? Do you feel like they decent? My first few music videos? Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> 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 definitely not. I mean, it's funny to go back and look at them, but like even ones that I look at from like three years ago, it's like, it's a dramatic difference. And it's like, I've noticed so many differences in like how I grew from that and stuff. So it's like, Probably even from like three years from now, I'll look at it, at like the stuff I'm doing now and think like what I'm, that this wasn't anything compared to what I've got going on. So you say uh, three years ago, so how long have you actually been shooting videos? It was longer than three years then, right? Yeah, I mean, I would probably say like, f probably like f taking it seriously, like four or five years, like where I would consider it like something I did regularly and was kind of successful off and had regular bookings and stuff like that. So before you actually was doing the music videos for like uh, rappers and shit, were you, were you listening to rap there? Yeah, I would listen to rap like it's what, all when I was growing up, like especially when I was skateboarding and stuff like that. And like, like Three Six Mafia, I liked a lot. Lil Wayne, stuff like that. What type of music you'll say like on a daily, like as of now? Uh, I mean, I just, I'm not gonna lie, I, I end up listening to a lot of what's popular and stuff like that, or a lot of stuff that I'm introduced to, and yeah, it's like, <clears throat> so mainly like just stuff that's popular I'm introduced to and I'm around. I mean, I don't have like the opportunity to really go out and seek a lot of music. Uh, yeah. So I know you said the, uh, the videos, it kind of, it just like came to you. It wasn't really something you grew up wanting to do or planning. So like, uh, what, what did you want to do growing up? Like, what was your goals? I really didn't know. Like, I didn't really have a plan of anything. Like, um, I really, when I was in high school, like I thought I was going to end up working on cars because I liked to do that when I was in high school and like, like painting them and stuff like that. But I ended up, like my parents wanted me to go to college, so I ended up going to college and stuff like that. And from there, like I've met more people that want, that like 
wanted me to shoot videos for them and stuff like that. So I, it kind of helped me branch out and like, it also helped me understand like more types of people in the world, I guess. So what was some of the uh, first music videos you would say that like started getting traction or you was like, damn, I'm, I'm getting a name off this shit? The first ones that really started to like get like 50,000 plus views were um, when I started shooting with Sicko Mob. And um, like I remember like one of the videos, Moon People, it really, it really kind of took off. Like, well, compared to now, not really, but like, at that time, like, it, I felt like it took off a lot for me. And like, that was kind of like one of the first videos that I, people would recognize me for, I guess you would say. You said Sickle Mop? Yeah. How was it uh, working with them? Like, what? I, it was fun. I mean, they were, they're real wild. <laughs> they were, at least were real wild. Like, yeah, they had a lot going on and stuff, but yeah, Travis, you know, they're real cool. I still, I still talk to them here and there today. So how did you actually meet FBG Duck? I met Duck because, um, like, I started shooting with Lil Chris, um, did a couple videos with him, and then he had a feature with Duck that he wanted me to shoot, and we ended, we shot the video and stuff, and then from there, like, Duck had ended up hitting me up, and like the next shoot I shot for Duck was exposing me. Uh, so damn. it was just like, yeah, but that's how I met him, really. So y'all, y'all just really took off, like right away down there because exposing me that shit yeah that shit it was like i never had a video over a million i never really even had a video over two hundred thousand that like was on my channel and st or not on my channel or like that i ever shot but um it was like that one moved faster than any video i ever <laughs> ever recorded and it's still to this day it's like the biggest video i ever shot so were you aware of the impact that that song had and how big it would be I mean, before I came, before I went to shoot the video, I didn't, I didn't even know that was the song we were gonna shoot. But like, once I heard it, I knew it was probably gonna do something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but like, what, really, what I, I was expecting to do something, but I wasn't expecting it to be that big. It's crazy. I had, well, I had a situation like that, and it was, a, it was a song just like that, disrespectful, this song, <laughs> and I found that when I pulled up too. And it ended up being bigger than what I thought. It was like a million, though. It wasn't like how y'all shit was. <laughs> but when I did that shit, it was a big, it was a, it was a big negative backlash from certain people. Did you, did you get that same type of backlash? It wasn't really like, it wasn't a back. There wasn't really any backlash where like anybody threatened me or anything like that. But like, I definitely feel like there's certain people who didn't want to work with me due to me shooting songs like that for Duck. So like, you know, what you shooting with him often like that, I'm pretty sure you got to uh, know like a, probably another side of him that most people probably didn't know. Yeah, definitely. Like, if, if I was to ask you to describe like what type of person he was or some of his qualities, what would you say? I mean, he was just funny. He was, he was really a cool guy. Like, it was like more like he was helpful to everybody. He wanted to see everybody do well. And he like everybody, it was like he had a personal relationship with damn near everybody. I, I seen him run into and stuff like that. And he was real cool, like always made you feel at home, feel safe. And that's like why I kept shooting with him. Cause it was like, he just made it easy. He made it relaxed and stuff like that. Even though the situations a lot of times seemed like they were out of control. It was like all, all his people were really caring and really embraced me well. And like looked out for me with, when I was with them. So I never really had any problems with with anything with Doug. That's what's up. So like that, that image a lot of people think uh, about him, like, oh, he a bully or he's scary. Like you never got that? Uh, no, not once. I, I don't think I was like scared of him. At, like I, a scared isn't a word that I would use to describe how I felt about him and stuff. Like, it's like he was like, before I met him, it was kind of like, yeah, he had the image painted of like, he's the biggest public enemy and stuff like that. And it's like, once you immediately, when I met him, it was like, he was just so cool. And like, it was like, I already had knew him and that's how he acted. And so it was like, he was just cool. I heard it was like a situation one day where I'm not sure like exactly how it played out, but it was like a video shooting. Shots got fired and you had, end up getting